Hello and welcome back to Nightly Nerds. I'm Tote. And I'm Ginger. And we're playing Dark Souls. Dark Souls. Uh, so rather than market fresh strawberries, <laughs> rather than <laughs> traveling through that little thing that we just opened up, we brought you guys back to the sewers. Yay! Or to the start of the sewers, anyways. We're in the sewer, because you know every fantasy ventures type game, and whether it's tabletop or a oh. video game, you have to go down to the sewers. I'm not gonna try to linger in this place too long because it can get you killed very quickly. A linger longer? You ever go to a linger longer? No. Actually, we might not be in the sewers that long because there's a certain NPC I want to uh, save, like I did with the uh, sorcerer. Uh huh. And I want to get, start getting his, buying some of his items. Buying some of his gear. Um. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Oh yeah, that's right. I was going over there to get that. I'm gonna talk to him. I'm gonna free him. And then I'm gonna. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, you get to see, you get to meet one of your favorite tropes. I know this oh, is one of your yeah. favorite tropes in in RPGs. Oh, is it? Um, is it the guy that you have at the beginning who turns up being a traitor later? No, no, no. It's just a. <laughs> it's a, every game. An enemy type. Oh, okay. Or I could I could be way off base, but I I remember you loving these kinds of uh. Yeah. These kinds of enemies. I've been playing Gloomhaven. I love Gloomhaven. Yeah, such such a it's a huge RPG. I mean, the box is weighs like twenty pounds and. It's like two feet wide, or three. It's like it's like two and a half feet wide, foot deep, and a foot uh, wide, foot mm -hmm. and a half wide. It's so massive, and uh, but we totally had one of those. Shit. We totally had that trope where you know, the first person who hires you to do the job is actually a horrible person, and <laughs> eventually we're gonna have to stop them. Ooh, my goodness! Okay, I just oh, they're not dying in one hit. What are these dogs? Dogs, doggos, shit. Oh, god damn it. He bit me in the butt. Ah, another great way to start an episode. Yeah, because I fell down the stairs when I was trying to attack the first Yeah, dog. yeah, I know. I know, I know. Ah, Dark Souls. Yep. I've We're got playing Dark Souls. Souls. But this is the kind of thing that I've people like. Souls is when you get in those moments, like, it's like, crap, crap, don't die, don't die. Oh, you died. That yeah. sucks for you. Codes. I you can't turn a soul into a housewife. Souls don't act right. The soul's on a mission and the soul's on a crack fight. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I, I I like that song. All right, so fresh and so clean, clean. Ain't, Ain't nobody, nobody knows me. me. I'm just so fresh, and, so, clean. so fresh and so clean, clean. Some call me ludicrous. Some call me Mr. Wibbles. Far from little, make your mammary grams, mammary no, glands tickle. No, no I one calls you that. As my wood went off. Oh yeah, I know. No one calls you that. Mr. Wiggles? Yes. Nobody calls Ludacris Mr. Wiggles? Yep. You don't know that. I mean, if they do, then... Uh, it's in that song, at least. Uh, and some, uh, Isn't that the Holiday Inn? What you doing? doing Cutting, chilling at the Holiday yeah. Inn. When we, when we were playing Fortnite, I couldn't help but just, like, trigger tote on singing that. It's like, <laughs> what you doing? <laughs> what the hook gonna be? <laughs> Man, I don't need a fucking hook on this beat. All I need is a jack in the background. <laughs> I, I don't know that song uh, at it's all. It's all like uh, uh, early 2000s and late 90s rap. Wasn't that like from Blade 2? I don't know. <laughs> that might have been in Blade 2, but... Because I remember like you, you were trying to get me of, to watch Blade 2 because part of, of uh, Blade. I've never seen... I have seen it, but I don't think I've tried to get... Blade 2? Blade 2, yes. I tried to get you to watch Blade 2. You sure it wasn't 3 or... Yeah, because that was the one that has the, 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 ja the Japanese theme and whatnot. And That's Blade. Is that the first blade? Yeah. Oh. I've never seen any of them. I love that Bangwa Cherry. Yeah. Sanada, 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 <laughs> that, that one. But I said that all. Okay. We're here again. Yeah, so he leaped. I hate when they do that. Okay, so it's my favorite this, part of it's that this trope. My favorite. Oh. With Hello. the dog that attacks you? No. Or it's, the guy with the giant cleaver? It's the butcher. Ah, oh, I love the butcher. Yes, yeah. yes. That's what I was trying to get to. So he has a he has a hook and, oh. and a giant cleaver. I love the giant cleaver. Like in an, I just created a female orc fighter uh with using the um the full hero background who fights with a giant cleaver. Oh, I don't think it can parry him. Whoa! That's fine, he doesn't. He can't 
like super kill me in one hit, but uh But he it, can kill you. It hurts. Ooh, he's pretty beefy too. Yeah, he is. I don't remember what I was talking about before that uh oh yeah, Bang Watch Harry. My favorite part about that song is the when they say sausage, they don't actually, it's like they were reading it. And they just sausage <laughs> instead of sausage. Oh, just like there's like uh what is it, Nick, when you tried to pronounce Ike's name from Ike's Fire Emblem? EK. EK, I'm like, no, Nick. It's, it's Ike. It's Ike. Even says Ike. Ike. He's like, oh. I just assumed it was Japanese, so it must have been EK. <laughs> they, yeah, they don't even pronounce it in Japanese because it's uh they're they're trying to the Fire Emblem is trying to do the Western night story. Yeah. So they're they're not trying to sound Japanese in any That's way, what I say. I, I've, I've talked about that before. Is that when I watch um, anime that are like supposed to be Western society, but they are all, all their mannerisms and oh yeah, half their names are like Japanese stuff, and it's like, like the 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 very very uh, pow empowered blonde American woman that submits and bows at like submits and bows and does all the Japanese mannerism. Or the characters that do the same thing in the, you know, they're supposed to be like German or something. It's yeah. like, no, uh, they would not do that's that. That's not Western society they at all. They would not do that. <laughs> but okay. it, it, it's charming in a way. It is. Yeah. So there's another butcher right there. Oh, that's another butcher. He tried to catch up with that head back. I don't think he's triggered right there. It's fine. I want to free this guy. Triggered. Speaking of triggered, hashtag me too. Um, remember that? Remember that oh, one guy yeah. that we, so he's stuck in a barrel. <laughs> okay, so I want to go get his stuff because he will make my life so much, so much easier. easier. Yes. Um, okay, so his his dialogue is exhausted, so that means he's going to be back at the fire linker sh fire linker shrine. Anyways, the, when I say Bangwa Cherry, it's like a fictional band that like the. Uh, want to bang, bang cherries? Well, no. Anyway, so the guy that did the music for the first Blade movie created. Yeah. And there's a scene where they're walking, like, Blade sneaking into, like, this nightclub. And there's, like, these three Japanese, like, K-pop kind of esque or I guess Japanese pop, like, girls up on a stage rapping, like, hardcore. Yeah. It is so funny to me. I don't know. Because they're, like, so into it. But they just little squirrel voices, you know, because they have that little Japanese girl voice. And I love when they start yes. mixing, when they mix the English in with the Japanese. Like that broken Japanese mixed with broken English. It's a great, oh. oh okay, I just, okay. We're going we're gonna to do some buying here. Yeah, well, it's like, it's uh, there's an interesting thing that like a lot of people don't um, know because they don't, you know, they either don't pay attention to uh, the uh, Eastern music and whatnot, but mm -hmm. like Japanese, Korean, and uh, I think that's it. Yeah, uh, those two. Uh, they're J uh, J Rock and J Rap. Oh, so good. They're fast as hell. They're faster than most American. Well, I don't rappers. I actually don't think they're faster. Is that it's so it's fast to our ear because we can't hear it. Yeah, we don't understand what they're saying, so it feels even faster. But one of, one of my favorite like rappers, Tech Nine, he does like this uh, worldwide. He does a thing called Worldwide Choppers, where he goes around the world trying to find the fastest rappers yeah. around the world, and. Uh, yeah, like some of them are. Some of them are amazing. Yeah, because um, it's not just how fast you can rap. I it's, love, it's how, I love K rock and, I guess was it Korean rock and Japanese rock. Yeah. I love it. It's because it's like all the good stuff from the eighties and nineties that we used to have. So they like they're all about like these like you know they they shred they shred those yes. guitars. It's a, it's beautiful, and right, K pop so. is fun. You know the girl groups. I'm not really into the guy groups, but. <laughs> Okay. I love the whole idol thing they have though. That's it's kind of interesting. Like they're not allowed to date. Yes. They're, they're starting to do it now. And some of the girls will be married and have to keep it hidden. And the guys too. All but right. I don't know. Like it was and it's very manufactured but it's still good. It's kind of weird. All right, so I'm going to show you my uh cuz here in America when we when someone's like very manufactured the kids will like it, you know, like the 12 and 13 year olds. But the adults were like, ugh, it's so manufactured. But for some reason, their style, which is that way, it works. Because yeah. I think because they have really good producers. And it's not always the same thing. Or no. it's different from Western society in a way. Like They'll take a mix of different Western music and mix it with their own stuff. And I don't know. 
I'm not trying to be fanboys over because I'm really not. I couldn't name you a Korean pop group, but I do like listening. Twenty one. When when I see them or I mean like when you go to like Millennium Fandom and they're playing in the background, it's awesome. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I would use. Plus one the of girls my... are cute as hell. Yeah. I used one of my spells, but I want to get it back. So rather than a mana bar, you have like D and D. You have amount of spells per or amount of cast per that spell. Amount of cast per that spell. Amount of casts per that spell. Ah. So this fire orb I can only cast six times. I can only cast I can cast more fire orbs if I slot more fire orb spells. Ah. And then there's a stat relevant to how many slots you can have. Certain spells take two slots. A certain um, modifier. Yeah. Woo! -hoo. You can get rings and equipment to give you more slots. Mm -hmm. So if you want to go full caster. Yeah, so if you want to go full in which it's uh if anyone has ever done it before, on any Dark Souls game, full caster is probably the funnest, most fun way to play a Dark Souls game because you can decimate bosses, uh, you can kill most enemies, but... You're super squishy. You're super squishy. <laughs> you're a glass cannon. Oh, yeah, so that's a Gloomhaven. I, I think I've mentioned I was playing that... Um, oh, Mind Thief? Like yeah. He's a little rat man. I love Mind Thief. And he... Is super squishy. Like, I only have six HP. Oh, yeah. At level one. It's so low. And, uh... So I spent the whole fight the other, the other day, and the only time I got hurt is when I chose to get hurt. I stepped into a trap... Uh, not a trap, but some thorny vines. Because I wanted the gold that was there. And the rest of the fight, I just avoided combat. What? I did all my stuff ranged, or made other people fight, because like, I can control them with my mind. Yeah. Summon my giant rat, or my little rat. I have giant rat, though. Nope. I've made level two. Nope. Nope. All right. We've only failed one scenario so far in it. It's a hard game. It's bent to be hard. So the butcher's dead. Don't have the to fight him ever dead. again. Look at that. Look Bury at that. the butcher. One of my favorite characters hey, from, uh, from, um, Full Metal Alchemist. Oh, Bury the Butcher, yeah. Yeah. I, I actually thought about cosplaying uh, him. Speaking of giant rat. I could cosplay Bury the Butcher, because he's big. They're all up there trying to drop down. But speaking of giant rat. Oh, holy shnikes. Yeah. That is. That's a regular enemy. I need to. Yeah, I need to get to the other side. Because I only want to drop down here once. Uh huh. Oh, is there like a ladder on this side or something? No, there's um, an item over here. Ah. It's a very helpful item. So I might. Oh, actually, no. It's a, it's a good shield. I might end up skipping straight to the boss because I really don't like fighting in here. Sheesh. He's all like... He's got like his ear missing on the right side, left side, his left, all right. Oh, yeah. So I really, I don't want to have to fight in here. But that's I'm, not as bad as the giant pigs in uh, Bloodborne. There there's the sewer chamber you, like key. stick your hand in their butt. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but I don't, get, I don't understand that. Well, it's just how you do the parry the, attacks. Yeah, the backstab on them. Backstab, parry. I mean, just everything. It's like you, you reach into them and you steal their blood. Yeah. That's what you're doing. So you, you go up his butt and steal his prostate. And that's how you kill the Piggly Wigglies. Okay. So I come here. What is that? These things. Fucking basilisks. Oh, basilisk. That's a basilisk? Uh, The eyes on top are just a trick. Oh, okay. So... Nope, nope. You stay turn away. Turn stone? Yeah, he will curse me. Uh, he will turn me to stone, and then I get cursed in which I spawn with 20% less of my maximum. Oh, jeez. Okay, so as soon as this... Ah, shit. I hate the sewers. A rat. A sewer rat. You ever seen that, uh, Great Mouse Detective? Yes. Underrated. There's a handful of Disney movies that I feel I don't get their due. Okay, And uh, Great Mouse Detective is one of them. See if I can... Okay, so the little beak. There's like a little beak right there. A rat. Yep. He was just like ragdolling all of them. I couldn't tell which one was him. Yeah. It's stuck in me. It's stuck in me. <laughs> oh. The ragdoll effects in this are hilarious. I love them. Oh, I need to... When pee. they die, they just turn... They weigh nothing. <laughs> yeah. Hold on, I'm gonna... Edge. I think I'm close to the... Do we have time for the boss? I want to at least show off the boss. Okay. Let me go up here and open the shortcut. 
I'll do one more episode on this session if we need to. But ah, yeah, let's let's, uh, let's end this episode. All right. and we'll go to the boss. All on right, the so next that's one. gonna. End this episode of Nightly Nights. As always, I'm Tote. I'm Ginger. And we'll catch you guys on the flip side. Bye bye. Hey, did you like that video? Well, if you did, click the box on the right for another. Click the box on the left for a playlist. Of course, you could always just subscribe by clicking the link in the middle. Come find us on social media. There are links in the description below. Don't be afraid to leave us a comment. Thanks for watching. I'm Tote. I'm Ginger. See you then. Bye.